Hello and welcome to my flight hangar. This is Cyberspike8326 and today I'm gonna spoil something for you. If you wanna make a good fighter for the oncoming PvP, which is maybe not coming, um, well, if you wanna make a good fighter, uh, rip off a real design. For instance, I promised to uh, show you my, my uh, F-15 rip-off type shit, but instead I'm uh, showing you my F-18 design which is the best design ever because it is good uh, <laughs> uh, I'm using a couple of mods for this and uh, bear in mind this is uh, 019.1 I'll put a link for uh, the half-size GAU 19 and uh, aviation lights uh, you know laser you know fire spinner uh, even though it's outdated you know your label a B9 wing I've used there improved uh, turbo jets and damn robotics Think that covers it? Oh, that's fast. Uh, bra 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 bra. Anything else? Mech jab. Bastards hiding from me in the drop tank too. Oh, this is a standard strike fighter. You know, it can work as close air support. You can uh, go in and hit stuff with the GAU. Even though it's on the side, you know, it it doesn't produce a lot of recoil. But the the half size is uh one zero point two, and that's the same as the laser. So I thought, hey, why not save some space? actually works it doesn't produce a lot of recoil um even though it's mounted on the side you know I've, I've lowered the recoil immensely but don't tell tell nobody that so uh the adaptable assault fighter uh 150 sparrow hawk uh has a couple targets today uh, one of which is an apache helicopter and the other uh, is the uav thing Brrr. Uh, i gotta take a dump <coughs> But first, let's just, I don't know, let's shoot down the Apache first, because that's the closest one. Uh, and I'm going to just demonstrate that this fighter is uh, d adapted to flying in first-person mode, uh, as well as uh, third-person. You may n have noticed there are cameras on the side of the wings and a camera down here. Um, even though it's, you know, it's upside down, it's cool. Just turn it around. Uh, this is adapted so that you can look at those, those uh, the tail wings because the tail wings are so important because they have the robotics on and this is what you want to do with them you want to turn them like that and once you're in a high altitude you can level yourself by um, uh, doing this because the center of thrust is a little above the center of mass by mistake because of the missiles well anyway we're taking off lowering those a bit so that we'll have a better takeoff and this is gonna be not really swift, but eh, it's alright. And you may also notice that because my flying is so smooth, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing with this smooth flying? Is this some mod, some SAS? No, I'm using my Xbox controller. But Cyberspec, how do you use your Xbox controller? I didn't know this was possible. Oh, well, simple. Um. This is, uh, you can just, this, you wanna find it. And I've made a video on that, and it's on screen. So go watch that if you wanna use your 360 pad or any other pad. You know, you can use a PlayStation 1 as well, I think. Uh, but yeah, the system's basically the same. So right now, we're gonna take down the Apache. Uh, it's just around there, the H64. Oh. I don't know how it's gonna go, because with our aviation SAS, we're too wobbly to do anything with the Gatling gun. So I'm just gonna use a uh, guided, laser guided flight, because that's the, like the most steadiest thing you can ever imagine, ever. We're just gonna hammer it with the minigun. I don't think we're gonna hit anything, honestly. But if we don't, well, hey, the Apache still looks pretty good. <laughs> I'm delicious. Uh, so we're a bit far away right now, and the, there's not even a single bullet on the uh, on the target cam. I guess this is just an emergency Gatling gun, and it doesn't really do all that much. You know, it's just the thought of having it is comforting. Just like in real life. Oh, handles itself. Oh, still there. Oh. Gonna launch him backwards missiles. 
and they didn't really work. They usually do, though. Okay, next one. Hummingbird. <clears throat> Little UAV type shit. Now this fighter can fly at like 18 kilometer radius. No, wait, altitude. Shit, phone's ringing. I don't care. Um, and, uh, and of course, what you want to do at high altitudes is turn these. And you can turn them if, if your center of mass uh, changes because of fuel loss or fuel usage. Just use those. They're amazing. Just have those in every plane you make. Because I, nobody can live without them ever. Also, if you're at high altitude, I'll show you this. You can, um, just, if you don't want to crash, you can turn your fighter like this. And then just turn them. And your fighter is going to turn by itself. And this is the most stable turn you can ever use. Because it's quite fast. And your uh, aviation SAS is still on. So you're perfectly safe at high altitudes, even at like 20k, 20 clicks up. And that's amazing, but this little UAV is not, so it shall be destroyed. And while we do this, we intend to look awesome, like this fighter uh, design suggests. Because I mean, look at that silhouette. And I've discovered that we look kind of like in like an F-22 color type thing when we turn inward on. Look at that golden cockpit and shit. Oh, that's this, that's good. No, oh, but these missiles have a 30 kilometer range and 300 meter blast radius. So let's just blast that thing to hell, really. Let's send two heat seekers after it. I guess it'd be the perfect heat seeker uh, to air-to-air -air combat with the oncoming multiplayer PvP that is coming, of course. <laughs> Still got my hopes up. Uh, calling you out, squad. Make me proud here. Uh, that's what you want to do. Want to shoot other people down. Don't fuck with me, because I'll shoot you down. Uh, yeah, I got some other jets too. Well, she'll probably be the next video or some helicopters. I mean, I actually have a, like a Apache gunner based helicopter, but with, uh, uh you know, the M, M134. And then some damn robotics sh shit to move it around, so it's it's actually pretty good. Uh, you can have like one person gunning and the other person flying. That's pretty cool. Boom barrel roll, bitch. What you gonna do, bad? Watching AGMs, nothing. I just want to get it clean. Whoop. Get my remote control on. Yeah, how you like that? How you like night vision? Oh, that's bright. Yeah, night vision actually works at night. It's the funny thing about it. It's not useless. It, you can actually it, view things in a better way. Because you can see better. It's brighter. Ah. I guess they just made it green and turned the brightness up. But it, hey, it still works. I don't know. Laser mod is amazing. You can do so many things. I can show you the afterburner. This is something I discovered. I I, uh, I didn't use lasers so much, except for the missiles. But then it turned out there's an afterburner. And this is just the best thing ever. I mean, it's a total waste of fuel. But, I mean, if you, if you, you uh, want to do it in the oncoming PvP, if you're being chased, we can just have those backwards small missiles. That's good. Oh. I've got to turn my aviation lights on. See? Aw, oh, they, they got a blink. Got a flash. Flash me. Oh, the bunch so buggy. I don't know if this has been patched because I'm not really playing uh, 0.20.2. Even though that's the latest version. Mm, great turn. That's the way to do it. Oh, what's the next? Oh, where we can eject. This is a nice feature. Let's just switch the first person mode. And this is good. This looks like a fire spitter, but it's not. It's an F-18 copy. Adaptable assault fighter 150. Oh yeah, anything more? I don't think so. We shot our targets and we are just flying around now looking like a boss in this boss fighter jet. That silhouette is just good. It's gorgeous. It's maneuverable. It's fine. If you want to make a jet, use a real design for God's sake. Like F-15, A-10. A10 is great. It's a hard design, but it's, it just works. It's so great. Uh, 
anything like that. Just just use a real design. Thank you. Harrier could work too. I made a Harrier. I can show you that. I made up uh, another Blackburn, like a VTOL jet. But it's actually the most stable aircraft ever. And you can actually do VTOL first person. I can show you that. Um. Well, anyway, uh, I see a mountain, and clearly we can't get around it. So let's just go first person. I haven't tested the ejection system yet. Uh, but here we go. No, I got parachutes! Shit. Um, okay. So, test one of the parachute has apparently, uh, failed. But hey, we'll, we'll get it figured out. For the multiplayer. <laughs> Come on, we'll get anything figured out before the goddamn multiplayer. Well, anyway, <coughs> uh, I'll put link in the description for uh, all the craft, uh, this craft, and for all the mods, like links for it. Uh, you can just download. The, um, I'll just put download links in for uh, the GAU-19, my uh, version with the fire rate and the recoil thing. Also for the half size thing, uh, which is still a GAU-19, it's just half size, and then they call it um, M134, I guess. I'll put links in for that, for the craft file, for everything. <coughs> Coughing. Um, that's basically it. Go watch my videos if you don't know how to plug in your Xbox thing. Then just watch my video. Uh, I guess it's on screen now too, uh, unless I'm lazy. And go watch my helicopters. Helicopter gunner base thing will be on uh, next video probably. Oh, I can't control this. And, uh, mech chip. Can you control this? No. Damn it. Oh, this will crash now. It'll be funny. Flash down. It's really hard to actually make a crash landing that works. Well, anyway, everything's in the description. Go like, subscribe. Uh, my uh, outro was slow last time, so we're doing it quick. Uh, favorite my videos. Yeah. Uh, and do that. Subscribe, join my army. Back, back me up on the PvP thing. We want a multiplayer, so we can kill each other on the moon. That'll be fun. Uh, go make squad do that. That will make me and you happy in the long run. I will see you next time. Peace out. <laughs> this is funny. See ya.